here in this discussion, I posted a cell phone, right? So what we want to understand is the way this sofa is constructed. So at halfway through, you've got the cushions dividing there. At halfway from the top to the bottom, you've got the seat coming across. At about halfway between the top and the seat, you've got this arm coming out, right? This is probably divided into about thirds, right? Where you have the seat cushion, you have the support board, and then you have the legs down below. This is divided a little bit differently, but it still has halfway from top to bottom this seat. So the seat cushion's hitting at one half. The arm is hitting at about half of that. And then you've also got this one third division here, one, two, three. Now it's gonna change a little bit. If you have a 1950s self, it's gonna be a little bit shorter, but pretty much we're always gonna draw the seat at one and a half feet from the floor. And this is gonna be three feet from the floor on every chair that you draw because it's it's so close that to take it, you know, a little bit off half a foot here or there, not gonna change too much, right? Halfway from the top to the bottom of my sofa is my seat cushion. So I'm gonna draw a line in here and I'm gonna draw a line off here towards vanishing point. I'm gonna draw from the cushion to the floor. So I'm gonna draw across here and I'm gonna draw out here. So here I have a horizontal plane that represents the top of the seat cushion, right? The end of the sofa, if it's three feet high and three feet deep, which I told you to draw for, so you'd have this box here, you're gonna have your seat cushion here, but there's gonna be a recline in the back that's gonna go like this at about a 30 degree angle or 45 degree angle. And then you're gonna have legs coming down so the seat of the sofa is gonna do something like this. And then we said the cushion would be here, the support board would be here, and the legs would come down like so. The arm comes halfway here and out to the end, let's say, right? So the end of the sofa is gonna look something like this. So at this corner, I want you to take and put a little bit of a lean back here, about a 30 degree and come down to the floor. And that's gonna cut out this part of the sofa right here for the cat to hide in, right? Should we erase that part that you just shaded? Sure. Cool. And just take that out of your drawing if you want. Notice how that's gonna bring your cushion so that it doesn't connect with the edge of the sofa here. So this new corner that you've created, you need to draw that back towards the vanishing point. That's the new top of your seat cushion. So here's your seat cushion top right here. And then this is gonna make, you're just gonna make a dot to dot from where this line hits to that corner. And it should be about the same slope as that. Mine's a little bit different. Let's see if my vanishing point I do get a little bit of a different back difference back there. In the bottom half, we said 
that we divide it into thirds. So let's take this and just split it into thirds right along there. This is gonna be the edge of the support board. So I'm gonna draw that in. I'm gonna draw that off to vanishing point. Then I'm gonna draw legs down. So this leg is gonna go horizontally and this leg's gonna go horizontally. And then to get my third dimension, I'm gonna draw off towards vanishing point. and off towards vanishing point. So I have legs on there. I wanna come here away from vanishing point first. Why? Because the front edge of this sofa relates to this wall and everything on this wall goes vertically or vanishing point. So I'm not gonna do my horizontal first. I'm gonna do my vanishing point first back there. And then draw a vertical. And then I'm gonna go horizontal to get my third dimension up here. This back leg I'm not gonna see. If I draw back to the back corner of my acrylic box, I can see that that's underneath the seat. So I'm not gonna see that. When we get into shading, we'll be shading all of this stuff in right here underneath the sofa. So all of this is under your sofa. And now for the cushion, I'm gonna take halfway between the leg and the top, and I'm gonna draw a line in the front towards vanishing point. And I can put it on the side if that's the design of the sofa. I'm gonna be looking at pictures, but if I'm designing a sofa right now, I might decide whether I want this to be seen on the side, whether I want that to be covered with a flat piece of fabric. But here in the front, I need to find if this sofa has a crack in the middle of it where these cushions meet right here, I need to find the middle. So I'm going to put an X from here to here and an X from here to here. Then I'm going to go horizontally across. You know what? There's a problem right here. See how that line isn't horizontal? That's why my lines are wonky. I'm going to fix it. I take this line and I'm going to be more honest about a horizontal there. That's going to tilt that line up so it's kind of parallel. Oh, that's why that line wasn't parallel. Okay, drawing is a series of corrections. As I go along, I find these things and I make it better. All right, so this line to here and this line to there, this line horizontal, and then lean it in the same angle as these two. It's gonna make the crack of the cushion right there in between the two cushions. If I wanna soften that, sometimes I put a little parenthesis here and here. I'm not gonna to do too much detail though because I wanna get arms in there before I finish my sofa. Okay, I wanna put armrests up on my sofa now. So from the front view, that would be a flat box coming up here. And from the side view, the arm sits like this and it attaches to the back of the sofa at this angle, right? So I'm gonna see this kind of a thing happen. So I'm gonna to come to the front corner here. I'm gonna bring this straight up. Halfway between, now it helps if I have this box drawn in here again, right? So I'm gonna put my guide back there. I'm gonna say halfway between here and here, which is gonna be right about here where that crack goes. I'm gonna draw a line all the way back horizontally along here that's gonna represent this line right here. With that attached to the back of the sofa there. Then I'm probably gonna erase everything behind it because I'm not gonna see that, am I? And I can draw a line. I can take this back corner. I can go halfway between here and here and draw a horizontal line right there where this arm is gonna attach. I can double check myself by taking this line and this line and seeing if they connect on their way to vanishing point. But maybe I wanna erase this line up here so that I see that arm dropping down at that corner. Those arms are only two dimensional as they stand right now. So I have height because I have a vertical and I have width because I have a horizontal. So I wanna go depth, which is the 
towards the vanishing point. So from this corner right here, just going to make a sh very short little mark there that says I'm going to have some width. I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to pull it towards myself from vanishing point, away from vanishing point to show some width. I'm going to draw a line across the top of the arm right here. Where it touches the couch is where this is going to go towards vanishing point back here. So the top of that arm is going to look something like that. And I'm going to draw a line down here to where that hits the sofa right here. Maybe erase some lines right here so that I see this happening in the front of my sofa without the line in between. Back in the back, I want this arm to look a little bit narrower than that arm. So I'm going to take and make it just a little bit skinnier than that, or I'm not at least going to make it any wider than that. Draw another line back there. This comes away from vanishing point. This line drops down here through the cushions to attach to the board below. This is going to attach down here then to this line. So this line is going to be lower than that line is. So I can erase this line here. And this line, when it hits the back of the cushion, is actually going to be drawn up like this, at the same angle of this lean. So I'm going to see that back arm connect, you know, lean here to the back of the sofa. This back part of the sofa looks like it's only two dimensional. So I'm going to take that into to another dimension. So I have this lean here is related to my height. I have vanishing points so I need to go with, which is horizontal right across here. I'm just going to bring these out a little bit and draw another line across here. That's going to create the top of my sofa. And I'm going to thicken this up back here. to get that in. So now I have the side of my sofa, the front of my sofa, the top of my sofa, the side of the arm, the front of the arm, the top of the arm, this end of the arm facing forward, this end facing to the room, and this end facing the top. Now for detail, I might come in here and round these corners up a little bit. I might take this and round it just a little bit up into here. If I wanted to round the end of this, I could. Shave off the sharp points there. I want this to go horizontal. I want this line to go horizontal. I want this line to go horizontal. So I've drawn a very square kind of couch here. Maybe I'm going to move this leg back even to set it here. 